Welcome to Electron Online. Here are three more examples for us to figure out what kind of roots we're going to get using these three equations. We need to calculate the discriminant. The discriminant is defined as b squared minus 4ac. So let's go ahead and do that. So in this case, the discriminant is equal to b squared, but there's no b here, so that would be 0, uh, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c is a negative 1. So this becomes 0 plus 4, which is equal to 4. Here we can see that d is greater than 0. So therefore, we can conclude there are two real solutions. Okay, coming over here, again, we need to calculate the discriminant. And that would be minus b, but b is a negative 3. That's a positive 3. Well, actually, that's not part of the discriminant. I was going to plug that into the quadratic formula, but we don't want to do that. We only want to concentrate on b squared minus 4ac. So that means we have negative 3 squared minus 4 times a times c. So this is equal to, uh, that would be 9 minus 12. Well, that looks like it is a negative number. So d is less than 0, which means there are no real solutions, only two imaginary solutions. So no real solutions. All right, let's see what our third one gives us. Uh, here again, we're going to just calculate the discriminant. The discriminant is equal to minus b squared. So minus, no, no, not minus b squared, but b squared. So negative 1 squared minus 4 times a times c. So d equals, this is a positive 1, minus 8, which is minus 7. So d is less than 0. So again, you can see that this tells us there are no real roots. So no real roots no real roots or no real solutions and two imaginary solutions two imaginary roots so here you can see we can interchange the word solutions or roots there's a solution to the quadratic equation there's a root to the quadratic equation it's either real or imaginary there's either two or one and that is how it's done